Google Bard AI recently became available to everyone. So I wanted to update this video to show you all the new options it has and how to access it if you want to try it out. Now, Google Bard is an AI chatbot and it's the direct answer and competitor to Microsoft Bing AI and OpenAI's ChatGPT. I've had private access for about a month to Bard, but now in its wider release, it's really, really useful. I'm really impressed with it. And it's got some new options that just weren't available a month ago. So I'm gonna update this video and show you exactly how to use Bard. To access Bard, you could go to this website, bard.google.com, and you could sign in. Now it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Google account, which you probably already have one. If you have YouTube or Gmail, I already have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my Google account to use Bard. Now, similar to other AI chatbots, you're going to get a prompt box here. A prompt is where you could ask it a question and give it a prompt. It also has this microphone access, so it's gonna start listening to you and typing in a prompt that way. I'll stop it here. And right on the left side, you also have light mode. If you wanna turn it to light mode, mine is set to dark mode. I'll show you a couple other options as I show you how to use this. Now, as far as your prompt, you could just ask it any type of questions. There's a ton of different questions that this could answer. I'm just gonna ask it, what's the difference between Bard and Bing and ChatGPT? I'm gonna press enter, and it actually responds very, very quickly. So as you see, I just got a response just like that in one click. Now, another unique thing with Bard that I like right here, it says view other draft. It actually creates three different drafts and they're actually way different. You see the format that it gave me for this one? Look at this one. This is in a different format with bullet points and this one is yet in a different format with a table. So this one is way more useful. So I could actually check out the comparison here between ChatGPT, Bing and Bard. So it's saying that creativity with ChatGPT is high, Bard medium, Bing low. So that's useful. So now let me ask it a follow-up question. That's another thing you could do with these AI models. You could actually follow up. So I'm gonna ask it to actually create a table and compare itself with all the other language models. So Bard, ChatGPT. And as you can see, it actually created this really nice table for me. Now the language models, Bard is what we're using from Google, ChatGPT and GPT-3. These also actually GPT-4 powers Bing as well. So all the GPT models that roll out, that's what Bing access it. So those are the same. And there are some other language models that you haven't heard of before just yet, but they're going to be rolling out as well. Now here's three interesting things you won't find elsewhere. One is you could actually press Google it, right? This is only available with this kind of a language model because it's from Google and it could actually do a related search on Google. So I could click that and it will open up a Google web page here. So that's really useful to go back and forth between Bard and a Google search. And you also have this option right here that lets you actually export the results into a doc, basically a Google doc, or draft an email inside of Gmail. So if I click this right here, check this out. It says open Gmail. And look at this, it just created an email. It took that, I could edit it inside of my email and then send it to any recipient as an email. That is really fantastic. It saves me a lot of time from saving that, copy that into an email. It also has the Google Doc option that does kind of the same thing. You could also copy the text with these three dots if you don't wanna use those two options. And the thumbs up and thumbs down are for you to train Bard because it's still in the experimental phase here. And if you go over here to Bard Activity, I recommend you go over here. And if you wanna change any of these settings, you can. So you could actually turn off Bard Activity so it doesn't remember your previous prompts because by default, all your previous prompts will show up over here and you could basically erase any of them with the X on this page. Let me go back here. And if you wanna start again, you just press reset chat. It's gonna reset the chat. You're not gonna be able to go to it from the left side like you could with chat GPT, but you could go to Bard activity and they're listed where I just showed you and you could bring them back or you could just start with a fresh prompt right over here. Now Google is also working on changing Google search. So in a demo they recently showed, Instead of showing you search results, different websites, Bard is gonna show up as the answer on top and you could prompt it and interact with it right on top of Google. So that single-handedly is going to change the internet forever. 
And because of all these changes in the world of tech with AI, I'm putting together an entire Netflix style video platform to teach you all about AI, to make you more productive at work and more productive in your personal life too. And it's a huge library. It's gonna have tutorials. It's gonna have entire courses, downloadable resources, a social platform. And my goal is to make sure you don't fall behind in this fast paced world of AI and stay up to date with the latest tools, especially useful and easy to follow tutorials to actually learn them and implement them in all aspects of your life. So I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below this video. You could sign up for the wait list. It's almost ready, but I will email you as soon as it is. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.